Hi, welcome everyone. I'm Bruce Wards. I'm from Montreal, Canada, in the province of Quebec. It's been a year and a half, a bit more now than a year and a half, that I found out that the moon was inhabited. I have the proof. I have many videos on the channel that are showing the proof, conclusive evidence. Please take the time to view it and share them if you can. Let's get the word going. As many of you are doing, thanks for subscribing, everyone. This is an unknown celestial object. Why unknown? I'm not going to throw them away. Sometimes only a few stars are out, and it's hard to locate the constellations, and, well, I was lazy to go see. So, enjoy. And, guys, beautiful close-up of Sirius A and B. Sirius star that you will see after this beautiful star. And you will see the changes and characteristics in these objects, celestial unknown objects. A star is also sometimes a galaxy, a binary system uh, filled with nebulae and spiraling galaxies. It could be solar systems bigger than our own solar system. So when you, somebody says, look at Sirius star, say to yourself, there are two celestial objects in there, possibly more. Sirius A and B will be coming up after this unknown celestial object. For me, this is the most relaxing part of my job is viewing stars and reading your comments, of course. Guys, thanks for the amazing comments. Thanks for connecting with me. And thanks for the interest and support in my research and work. Thanks for the contributions. And thanks for believing in me and trusting. Now, guys, I'm going to put up some music. I'm going to shit up so that you guys can enjoy and relax for the rest of the night. I'm going to do another video or I'm going to go out and get some stars. I'm just waiting for them to come out. Guys, when I get stars, my goal is, as I want you to watch this one, to try to notice the other objects that are inside, how many objects are inside, how they're turning, if they're if they are turning at all, if they look close or far, what what, what are they doing, the changes in their uh, transit as they're crossing um, across the screen here. Many say, "Stop moving, please." Well, that's impossible. You can't stop the universe from moving. The moon moves. Everything moves. The more you're zoomed out with the camera, the more um, apparent the, the movement will be because listen you, you have just a hair a hairline zoomed out at 2000 millimeters like i am with the p900 if you move you're going to lose the image of this object this is a, an interesting object in astronomy someone's goal when they're viewing a star hey look at this you can see on the top something going around very very bright there we go look at the top of it and the bottom of it you'll see this yeah the goal of an astronomer um, is to show the people the star the best way possible, right? Well, I want to show you even better than that. Look at the flaring. I want to show you Sirius A and B interacting. You will see the sphere come out of the light 10 to 15 times during this video. I'll put up some nice relaxing music with it. Guys, thanks so much for the support. Comments tomorrow morning.
stars are not what you think they are. When somebody says or writes in a book, there's a star up in the sky, it's not a star necessarily. A star means it could be many systems or a system or one object inside of that light. Solar systems, nebulae, galaxies, you name it. Both the stars and the moons that are around, anything that are is around, if any, of these systems, they can be seen uh, spiraling. When you slow these down, you can see sparks of light. These are the moons that are reflecting both from the star and from the sun that we can pick up to know what kind of a system is there and get an idea of their size. Without further delay, watch the magnificent shots that I got of Sirius and the close-ups. Slow motion close-ups, guys. Enjoy. Me again. Notice the other sphere, the other object inside of the light appear many times over top, below, inside. Thanks again, Dennis Delano, for the generous contributions. Now, people come to YouTube to laugh, to find truth, to meet up with family. So many reasons why people can come here. And many start channels that are uh, maybe deceiving. But listen, I, yeah, you know, it's a free world. And I think anyone should be able to post really what they want without 
harming or aiming any other culture or religious group for sure, as I would never do so. But I think it's important that people know that what I'm doing is truthful. And in my heart, I want the world to know the truth.